forward towards Cristiani. The shot straight at Sasha Lukic. If he can pick up the loose ball though. Valentino. And it's swung into the box but couldn't get it clear. That's a lovely turn from Rodrigo Muniz. Carrying it forward into the Benfica half. Down the right hand channel. He tried to feed it across the uh, base of the box. It was blocked. Looked lively. Pulled into the box. Headed away by Sasha Lukic. But straight to the Benfica player. It's a chance for uh, Best to get the low ball in. Good, uh, Block there from Tom Kearney, managed to turn it into a pass as well for Traore, who's sprinting forward, breaking into their half, great powerful run, he was clipped there, the referee, I think uh, considered allowing play to go on, but he just about managed to toe poke the ball forward there, Adama, but uh, it wasn't going to find a full and player, so the ref's given the free kick, he was definitely tugged back there. run into the uh, Benfica half once he uh, he sets off like that and gets up the head of steam he uh, takes some stopping Tom Kearney over the ball Pushes it for Adama. Two of them there closing down, but uh, clever little ball infield for Alex Awobi. Back for uh, Adama once more, right hand side. Did well to get a pass the uh, Benfica defender, get the cross in, it comes out in the end to Alex Awobi. Just couldn't wrap his foot around that one, really. He's uh, sliced it a little bit, but. Uh, Good work going forward from Fulham. Played our way in a little bit now. Tom Kearney with the delivery. Left footed ball in. Flicked header and then it's header on target. The second header from Muniz. But too close to the keeper. He was uh, right behind it. Makes the save, but uh, nicely worked corner. Good delivery from Tom. Little flicked header from uh, Alex Iwobi, and then Muniz, but there was a whole group of players around him. He probably didn't see it until quite late. Had to duck down. Didn't have an awful lot of power on the header, but on target, forced the save. First effort on target, really, or certainly the first save by the goalkeeper's had to make. A lot more threatening now is an opportunity and in the end Alex Iwobi possibly should have done better. Benfica not doing themselves any favours there in terms of clearing the ball. Ferreira best for the ball in. And then the curling effort from Prestiani. Only 18 years old, the young Argentinian. Hold the defender off. Just looking at that shot from Prestiani again. I mean it was uh, Running out of steam, really. There wasn't uh, an awful lot of power in that comfortable take for Bernd Leno for Adama. Turning infield. Goes to ground, but no foul. The referee had a clear view of that. Didn't think there was anything wrong with the challenge from Best. And there's a chance for Arsenal to uh, carry it forward. But good work from uh, Adama. Redeeming himself and he's turned away. He's spaced out to his left. Alex Awobi. Robinson goes outside him. Into the path of Anthony Robinson back for Alex Awobi takes a touch and slots it in. It's 1 0 to Fulham in the 21st minute. This house from uh, some of the Benfica fans. It's one of the players, their players went down in the move uh, leading to that goal, but I don't think there was anything wrong with that. I think the referee certainly wasn't interested. It was a good breakout from Fulham, Adama Traore. He's always so powerful. Try to hold him back. He started 30, 40 yards inside the Fulham half. It was Alex Awobi who was uh, suspected of making contact there with a Benfica player, but he carried his on, on his run into the box. 
Anthony Robertson did well, gave the uh, defender the eyes, pulled it back into the path of Alex Awobi, who's had a good chance earlier to give Fulham the lead. On this occasion, he made no mistake at all, a bit like his uh, finish up at Old Trafford, the way he slotted it in there. He's been lively and he's looked dangerous. And he's got the opening goal of the game on 21 minutes. It's 1-0 to Fulham. Forward ball cut out by Anthony Robinson, but a misplaced pass. Gives possession back to Benfica. Traore doing well there. Adama back in his own box to hook that one away. Might have uh, found best on the overlap there to pull back, but uh, good work from Adama. And the Benfica fans thought they should have had a free kick there, I think, but the referee was close to the action. Play goes on, and now Tom's brought it forward up towards the edge of the box, works it onto his left foot, just didn't quite catch it cleanly. Prestiani working his way infield, he's still got uh, the ball at his feet, and it's fallen nicely in the end for. Uh, Fastness, sliding block came in, sliding challenge from uh, Sasha Lukic. The fans didn't like it, but again, the referee felt there was nothing wrong with it. Anthony Robertson carries it forward. Finds Alex Awobi back in for Muniz. Oh, yeah. Just had to get it out from under his feet, change the uh, angle of his body down from wide of the target. But the uh, fans make a bit of a meal of the. Protest there. I mean, you're seeing that again, the replay, not that clean tackle really from uh, Sasha Lukic. I mean, it was just a bit unlucky, I think, as Alex Iwobi fed it back to him. There might have been the slightest of deflections, was it? Yeah, there was, and it changed the angle of the ball. We had a. He did for Sasha Lukic, forward for Tom Kearney. Clever little ball out to Anthony Robinson. Releases Anthony down the left hand side. Is it for Alex Awobi? Floats it into the box. Muniz with a little flicked header through the middle for Benfica. Might have been caught, but he, uh, he's back on his feet. Fastness finds best. And he turns it against Kenny Tetty for uh, Benfica's first corner of the game. Man and gave him the opportunity to turn it against Kenny towards Rodrigo Muniz. Took it down nicely, felt he'd been fouled there, bundled to the ground, but the referee doesn't agree. This could be dangerous. Bar with a ball into the box, Calvin Bassi's headed it, but not uh, all that far away. Good save from Bert Leno in the end. It was taken on the volley first time by uh, Pavlidis on target, and uh, Bert Leno had to go down to his left to uh, push that away. Certainly the uh, best save he's had to make in this first half. Oh, lost out down the uh, left-hand touchline there. Charles Prestiani going in field. Good work from Tom Kenny there to win that back, but it uh, didn't look like a foul to me. The referee again close to the action. He's got most things right, as I said. I mean, is that a foul? He just whipped the ball away from him. For me, I don't think he hasn't kicked the player. I think the referee's got that one wrong. Let's hope it's not uh, of too much importance. Two minutes over to 45 already. So there can't be uh, too much more action in this first half. Let's hope this is not crucial as it's flung into the box. And then he comes and punches it. Tetty's down on the ground, the referee uh, was giving something, but... I'm not the thing there, but... Uh, and, uh, oh, he's got a headbutt on the jaw, I think, on the chin, but... Uh, referee's blown the half-time whistle. Chance inside the box. Pavlidis works it onto his right foot in the end. It's a Diop's got the block in, but it's another corner for Benfica. He started uh, a lot more confidently in the second half. Just 
slipped in there and uh, dispossessed Anthony Robinson, Alexander Barr and uh, in the end he opted well to block the shot foul on Josh King but play goes on here is Prestiani with another opportunity and this time, oh he's hit both posts he went with his right foot and that's uh, caused us a few problems Save that one on the way out, but uh, that is a 59th minute. Lennon's got caught knocking about, playing out from the back. This is dangerous, blocked on the line by Calvin Bassey. Did ever so well. coaches approve of and, and encourage but too much mucking about here for me with red shirts around but Leno plays it to Sasha Lukic who's surrounded really by Benfica players and Ausnes should be doing better there apart from a great uh, block by Calvin Bassey I mean looking at the replay I'm not sure that was even going to go in he's got his angles wrong really with his the shot but uh, probably would have found this a far corner than it but Calvin Bassett was there to block it this bar with the cross right the way through the penalty area this was there but I was forced to make the save a lot of pressure in this second half and uh, again, they almost made the breakthrough shot was well struck and worked it well to get down to his left hand side and push that one away good save and ball forward good control by Rao touches it for Pagaziti and now Godo the two youngsters just on the pitch seconds ago combining and session on down the left hand side nice turn heads for the byline deep cross Jimenez will attack it heads it back oh chance there for put him right in front of goal good work from Ryan session on see it again now it's a good save you'd have to say but that's a good first header he's put it straight at him really Harry to a certain extent if he's gone Eighth minute. Dangerous ball in, headed away by Calvin Bassey. Shot's going to come. Sure. He's got something on that. It was Martin Neto with the shot. I think maybe Berg got something on it and tipped it over for a corner. It was well struck. Bounced nicely for him. Managed to keep it down. Hit the woodwork, as we say, it's underneath the crossbar, but and their last chance in the seventh minute. Swung into the box. Caleros couldn't get his head on it. And the opportunity is gone for Benfica. That's the final whistle. Good result, positive result from our point of view. Beyond results, but he accepts now and realizes that it's more about fitness and uh, getting your levels up, tactics, and 